You like music? Probably not as much as Shippensburg student Jen Keith. Why else would she listen to all 16 of these CDs in one night? On average sitting, I can usually not go crazy if I sit and listen to maybe like five songs, without, uh, songs five CDs without a break, but then I kind of have to go do knitting or something for a little bit, and then I'll come back and do more. Fans have to impress Jen to make it onto Shippensburg's campus radio station, WSYC-FM. As music director, she's part of a dedicated, versatile group of volunteers who provide Shippensburg students with plenty of tunes and talk. Trevor Stottlemyre, who serves as a volunteer producer at WSYC, said it takes students of varying interests to keep the station on the air 24 hours a day. When students first come to something like WSYC, you usually have two kinds of students. You have the kind of students that are super duper excited about the idea of being in radio is just a concept and are just so enamored by the idea that they're going to be on radio. Usually they're hardcore music fans. Like their, their, their life starts and sets by music. The number two kind of student is one who's looking for something to fill their portfolio, something for professional reasons. The professional one wants to try to create a portfolio and learn based on the direction they're going in. Jen falls into the category of diehard music fan, so it seems fitting that she screens the songs music promoters send before they're played on the air. Jen listens to songs at least twice before she decides to put it on the WSYC's playlist. Songs with swear words are automatically rejected. If they make the cut, CDs are labeled according to the amount of airplay, heavy, medium, or light. There's, it's a lot on personal, my personal taste, but I also have to take into consideration that nobody else will listen to exactly what I like to listen to. Matt Baer and Zach Kyle also fall into the diehard music group of WSYC staffers. After all, not many college students would agree to host a show at eight o'clock in the morning. We didn't even open up our coffees yet. I know, right? We're gonna be. And we're just gonna be jumping all over the place. I'm gonna pop mine open right now. First of all, the kind of music that I play, it, it fits the morning a lot better than it fits late night, and it's fun. Yeah, you get a you get a wider listening audience out in the town, because you know a lot of people they listen to the station while they're driving to work. Dan DeVeglio and Andy Malnowski fall into the other category of WSYC students who want to become professional broadcasters. Andy, a graduate student, hosts a weekly sports talk show. A little after 3.30 right now, right with you until 5 o'clock. Hope everyone's having a great day, and hey, I'm not going to waste any more time. We're getting to our big topic of the day, and it's called the best of the worst acting by athletes. So the transition of an athlete into the acting world, whether it be television, whether it be film, we've got it. I remember the first day I came in here, I, I kind of had an idea of what I wanted to do and what I needed to accomplish. And I think that's something that students really need to be aware of as soon as they step foot on campus. I mean, have that goal, have that in the back of your mind. Like, I can get this experience here, I mean, and we're gonna make the most of it. Dan has certainly made the most of his time at WSYC. The experience Dan gained here helped him land a summer internship at Westwood One Radio, which is considered one of the largest radio sports networks in the country. Yeah, I've had a professional experience working here since my first weekend at college when I was on the air doing a, a football game and I uh, never really looked back. That's not to say that Dan doesn't like playing music. He also hosts a weekly music show on WSYC, which features plenty of his favorite band, The Grateful Dead. I just like being in a room and playing my favorite music really loud. It's something I actually enjoy very much. And you're listening to a blistering version of Shakedown Street by The Grateful Dead from October 18th, 1989 at the Philadelphia Spectrum, a venue which they played 53 times during the course of their career.